This is the reason why Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez is the biggest fight of the decade. You must see this fight at all costs. We all know David Benavidez has missed weight before a couple of times. And we know Timothy Bradley says, boxing is the Wild West. Well, let me explain some business to you. We all know PBC was at the tail end of Showtime Boxing. It was just a matter of time for it to end. However, PBC had to continue its portfolio and maintain an image of positive integrity for any future broadcaster. So any negative news such as missing weight would look like bad business to invest in. So as the saying goes, the show must go on. When David Benavidez fought Demetrius Andrade, there was blatant inconsistency when the official weigh-in happened. Seven even, seven even, seven even. Notice here how David was stepping on the weight scale correctly in the dead center. An official yelled, once seven, four pounds on the scale. However, Jimmy Lennon G yelled out, 167 pounds. David Benavides weighs in at 167 pounds. David Benavides weighs in at 167 pounds. Stand up straight on the center of the scale and keep still when taking measurements. This ensures your weight is evenly transferred to the scale's sensors. On the center of the scale, 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 on the center of the scale. You mean to tell me David Benavidez weighed 167 pounds that morning and the exact same weight at the official weigh-in? I find that shit hard to believe my nizzle. To make matters worse, we all know what it's like to stand on a weight scale. Or at least we know variants of when stepping on any type of scale incorrectly. We all know that you must stand at the center of a weight scale. By standing on the edges of weight scales, such as the metal frames, it will alleviate heavy weight, therefore giving you an inaccurate measurement. So imagine how disastrous it would have been had David Benavidez missed weight again. We all know Al Heyman is a good guy. At the end of the day, Canelo's calling the shots. Mm -hmm. We all know Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather are siding with Canelo because what is right is right. The 150 million, why not? Uh, Mayweather did it. Sure, business is business, and their brand investment must keep on. David Benavides is just another challenge out there, potentially. But you must wonder why Samson Lukowitz and Alerbi are siding with Canelo Alvarez. Hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, he's had a fantastic career thus far. He's fought everybody that he possibly could. The obvious answer is karma. Perhaps they know of the shady stuff done before to keep PBC afloat. But if you've got Canelo Alvarez to further your business, then you must follow and be the good guys. For me personally, and as Marcellus Wallace told me, Canelo is definitely the head nizzle in charge because he's a good guy. We must accept that Floyd is gone. It's okay if a white-skinned brother reps the brown skin to be accepted. Get over it, my brothers. This is boxing. Bitch, be cool. And as I used to say to Quentino Tarantino in his face, Viva Mexico, cabrones. <laughs>